Hello and welcome to Jimmy Chan in Japan. My name is Jimmy. Before we start, a little bit about me. You might be wondering like what this video is all about. Um, I've lived in Japan for almost four years now. Uh, I'm married and have two children. And I live in a place called Kagoshima, which is in the south of Japan. Uh, when people think of Japan, they think about, I don't know, Tokyo, Osaka, Hiroshima, those kind of big cities. Um, but I live in Kagoshima, which is right deep south of Japan. It's still mainland. Uh, it's on an island called Kyushu. Um, and uh, it's uh, really south. Uh, I actually live in a, not in a great big city. I live in a kind of, a, oh, it's a city, but it's a small city. Uh, and there's not a lot to do here, to be honest. But there is a lot of shops and there's a lot of uh, weird and wonderful things. So I work full time, but I decided to start a channel uh, because I thought it'd be quite interesting to share my life here. So many uh, weird and wonderful things going on in Japan. Obviously, because of Corona, a lot of people can't visit now. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity just to talk about the uh, the, the the kind of things that are going on in Japan these days. Um, I will be looking at reviewing uh, foods, uh, toys, um, you know, any kind of weird Japanese things. If you guys can think of anything that you want me to review, let me know in the comments below and I will uh, try and find it and then do a review for you. Um, so let's get on, let's start the video, yeah, let's get on with things. So today I want to uh, show you this product. Uh, you might know it, you might not. Uh, oh, actually, before we uh, continue that, you may have noticed my two little friends here, yeah, the Totoro uh, from the Studio Ghibli films. Uh, if you guys are interested, uh, these are the um, the characters that you can collect. I've got a few more, but yeah, I like, I like to have these in the video, so I hope you guys don't mind. Um, so, guys, uh, going back to this um, product here, so... I don't know if you can see it. This is probably one of the most popular snacks in Japan. Probably number one snack. Um, this is from a company called Kaobi. And this is, uh, the product is Jagariko. Jagariko is, uh, as you can see, it's kind of like a, uh, it's a kind of a potato stick. It's not soft, it's very crunchy. And uh, it comes in many, many kinds of flavours. This flavour is salada, yeah, salad flavours. So it's got like vegetables. Um, I'm from the UK, so in the UK we really love, um, we call them crisps, Americans call them uh, chips, I believe. Um, we really love uh, crisps in England and we have so many flavours. So when I moved to Japan four years ago, I was quite surprised to find that the Japanese have uh, three particular... I mean, there might be more than three, but generally three is what I found. So there's three flavours. Number one is uh, they like kind of salad flavour, you know, the, ha the um, vegetables, uh, the healthy choice. Then there's number two is cheese. I mean, most people like cheese flavour. And number three... Uh, number three was, I forgot now, what was number three? Ah, uh, they have like mentaiko flavour, which is, um, spicy codro. It's not for everyone, it's actually really nice. And actually, the sorry, number three was, uh, number three was consume flavour, consume. I don't like consume flavour, it's, um, it's again, it's kind of like a vegetable stock, uh, and I don't know, I just don't like that, that flavour, but it's very popular in Japan, people love it. Um, anyway, so um, so yeah, this product is called Jagariko, and it's salad flavour, but it comes in lots of other flavours. I'll probably review those as uh, as I go along. Um, so yeah, this comes in like a kind of a weird tub. This reminds people of a pot noodle, yeah. It actually says on the label here, because some people get confused it says and if you can see it says you've got to pull this uh tab here yeah pull it back do not put this in the microwave people think this is like a pot noodle yeah you put it in the microwave or add water to it it's kind of um it looks like that but it's not you can just pull it open and just eat the snacks as they are um so 
just go through a little bit of history on this product uh, from my own experience. So I actually got this product, uh, or I first discovered it when I moved here. My then uh, girlfriend, who's now my wife, she um, she introduced me to it. This is her favourite flavour. Uh, I actually I've tried these before. This isn't my fa like my favourite most favorite flavor but I, I actually have another flavor which I'll, I'll come to in the in the future video but uh, this is not a bad one uh, I will test it in a minute and let you guys know uh, but yeah my wife introduced this to me and um, I remember it was like late at night couldn't sleep and she like we both woke up and she went to like a her like um, cupboard in her kitchen and just grabbed one of these pots and we just like munched on them all night long it was quite a weird experience uh, that actually uh, was a good, good, um, good time though. Yeah, good time like that midnight snack feeling when you just can't sleep. Uh, so yeah, that's when I discovered it, and then obviously after that I tried the other flavors, and then I came to my favorite flavor, which uh, again I will talk about that in the future. Um, yeah, so uh, back. I mean, it's all in Japanese. Uh, I don't know. I, my Japanese these days is not that great. I'm still studying Japanese, so you have to bear with me. Um, but yeah, it's just got all the content information, how much salt is in there and calories, whatnot. It's got this pretty cool, the barcode's quite funny. It's like uh, potatoes, can you see, growing. And it's like the, 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 the vine, if you like, is going up and it looks like part of the barcode. And the main, the mascot, if you like, of this uh, snack is a, a giraffe because it looks like a giraffe's neck. The actual snack is quite long, uh, you know, tall, like a giraffe. Um, so okay guys so let's do the uh, let's open this up uh, actually there's a bit more um, information here I think you can download, download an app and whatnot uh, so yeah let's open this up this is exciting oh oh here we go guys here is the um, the content if you can see that yeah this is uh, it's, uh, let's, let's take one out yeah let's have a so it's quite hard like, if I push it Oh, it, it did break, but it's quite um, quite solid. It's not like um, there's another snack that we had in England. It was, uh, well, it was made from corn, so it was very soft. Yeah, it'd melt, but this doesn't melt. Like, it's really quite hard. So if you're, like, if you're not into, like, that hard kind of snack, maybe this isn't for you. Uh, okay, I'm going to try this, yeah, and I'll let you guys know what I think. Okay. Mm. Okay, so it's not bad. Um, I, as I told you earlier, this isn't my favourite flavour. I had tried this before, although it's been a while since I've um, been eating these. My, I have two kids, and if we buy any of these, they like they just want to like open them up and eat them. So we um, tend to not to buy them so much these days. Um, the snack's quite oily, quite oily, and it's very crunchy. The taste for me personally is a little bit bland, but you know it's vegetable taste. I mean, vegetables do have flavour, but you know, it's not. I, I can tell there's not a huge amount. They don't put like sugar in these snacks. Like some snacks in England, they had like sugar and salt to give it like, lots of flavour. I think there's not like many additives in that. Um, but yeah, it's got like, uh, let me show you again. So you can see in the snack, there's like lots of different vegetables. It might be a little bit like carrot or tomato or something. I don't know. It's all like dried into the, into the actual, um, snack. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not bad. So it's not my favorite flavor. Um, but it's, um, it's, it's, um, it's not, you know, it's quite enjoyable. There's a quite a huge volume in here. There's quite a lot of sticks. Um, this is also available in a larger size, so for, for those who like a bit more um, of the experience, you can buy a large size. Uh, these cost about, in Japan, these cost uh, quite cheap, about 85 yen, maybe a little bit less in other shops. Uh, I don't know what that is in, what that is in British money, I don't know, about uh, maybe one pound in dollars, I have no idea. But if you convert it on Google, yeah, 85 yen, you'll get a rough idea. Um, so yeah, these um, they've been around. It says here since 1995, so quite a long, quite a fair time. Not too bad for a snack company. Calbee are really, really popular in Japan. They're like number one 
I think, for snacks. So you may have heard of them for other products as well. Um, so, yeah, guys, this uh, video has been going on a little while now. Apologies if I've been repeating myself. Um, this is my first video that I've done on, on YouTube. So uh, bear with me. I'm sure it could be I'll try and improve things in the future. I hope you can see the snack pretty well. Um, and yeah, if you're interested in buying these, um, I'm sure you can find them online somewhere. I was actually thinking about maybe like selling these in the future, like making a website, although I have no experience on making websites and whatnot. But yeah, it'd be interesting to see if these are, are popular. Um, guys, it'd be really nice um, just for uh, the social side of things for me personally. Living in Japan isn't easy to make friends, so it'd be quite nice to um, you know to chat with people online. So if you've got any like any comments you want to add, uh, please put them in the in the comments below, and uh, it'll be nice and interesting to read and hear your thoughts on on this product. If you've eaten it before, let me know as well. Um, but guys, uh, I would really appreciate if um, you know if you're interested in these videos. I'm gonna make more. I'm gonna try and make one video uh, a day if I can. Um, I'll be showing different products and if you've got an idea for a product or something maybe you've been to Japan and you oh, you know you want to see that product again let me know uh, add some details about the product and I'll go out to the shops and find it and I'll do a, a review on it and uh, let you guys know what I think of it um, but yeah if you could subscribe I'd appreciate that and maybe click on the bell for notifications when I upload a, a video but um, I hope you enjoyed the video guys thank you so much and um, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.